If you would like to create a Harry Potter inspired title screen just like this, then keep watching. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Filmstock YouTube channel. We are Chris and Christina and we're here to help you make better videos and empower your inner video creator. So if you're a big Harry Potter fan, and let's face it, who isn't? We definitely are. Then you will love this new pack from Filmstock. It allows you to create a title screen or an intro screen for your videos that looks just like the Harry Potter series. If you want to add that mysterious, magical sort of feeling with your videos, then this pack will definitely help you do that. It's pretty easy and it shouldn't take too long, so let's jump into Filmora 10 and we'll show you how. So to create this one, all you need is the magic title pack from Filmstock, which you can get from the website or the link in the description. Remember that you will also need Filmora 10, so you can also find the link for that in the description. So once you're in Filmora 10, you'll be able to find all the letters for your titles in the elements section under the magic title pack. And here we have each individual letter. We have capital letters and small case letters as well. And there's also numbers one through nine. So depending on what you want your title to say, you just go through each of the letters, putting them together to create whatever words you want. So this is where it could take a little bit of time. You do have to stack each letter on top of the next. And of course, resize and reposition depending on where you want it in your frame. I've created all of these letters above each other and I just repositioned each individual letter to be in the perfect position. So you can also see in the element section that there are these thundery skies for you to place your title screen. Really cool and gives it that really cool movement as well. But what we want to try to do is to have the letters move forward as well as the sky. So if you want to have that zoom in effect with your title as well, because we aren't able to combine all of these letters together, what we have to do is put a green screen underneath it. So I've basically just used the green sample color from here. So just drag that underneath. That will become your green screen. And what you have to do is you have to render this as one clip. That way you'll be able to move all the letters together at once. So you can see I've done that for every single title that I want. I've put a green screen behind it so that I'm able to move everything at once. So once we do that, then I'm going to bring it into a brand new project. We have the video, the full video with all the titles with the green screen behind them. And then what I can do is add those thundery skies to the background. So you want to make sure that you place that below your clip. But of course, we need to chroma key out that green screen. And there we go. The green screen is gone. Now we have the title in the sky. It looks just like before, but now what we can do is we can move the title screen as one entire clip. So now I could maybe put some keyframes on that to have it move in towards that. We're just going to zoom in, make it bigger. So it looks like it's zooming in. So you put a keyframe at the start of the clip and at the end of the clip, and we just change the scale. So it looks like it's zooming in at the same time as the sky is moving. So then the final step would be to create a transition between these two clips. So we could have two titles coming on screen one after another, but there's a really cool zoom transition that just makes it look so much better. So you can use really any transition that you think fits well, but the one I've used for this one is this one right here. It's called Warp Zoom 3 and I basically just searched for zoom in the transition section. So when I put that in between my two clips, it looks something like this. You can also add some music and some sound effects to really make it great. So there you have it. Now you know how to make a really cool title screen. Have a go for yourself. So now you can very easily create your own Harry Potter inspired intro or title screen for your own videos. And the fun part about film stock packs and especially this one is that you can get as creative as you want with it and create whatever titles you want. So feel free to try it out for yourself. Keep creating and we'll see you in the next one. That's pretty good.